A poll by pro-independence think tanks shows that the approval ratings of President Tsai Ing-wen and Premier Lai ching de have reached new lows. According to the latest polling, if either of them were to run in the 2020 elections, they would lose if the KMT fielded Eric Zhu or Han Guoyu. The survey shows that if Taipei Mayor Ko Wen-je were to join the race, he would emerge victorious no matter whom he comes up against. It's been nearly a month since the local elections, and a new survey shows that public approval of the current administration has receded to a record low. According to the latest poll by Taiwan Brain Trust, President Tsai's approval rating has sunk to 19 percent, a 12-point drop from July. The premier's ratings are also down, dropping by 7.9 percentage points to 32.7 percent. After the Ke Tsai meeting in Beimen, I think the situation has become a bit like the situation in the late Tang Dynasty, when the central government, the emperor, had fallen to the level of his princes. She no longer has a prestige. In the case of Lai Qingde, everyone had high hopes for him, but he has been so indecisive, and he doesn't have much real power. The poll shows that if Tsai ran for a second term in 2020, she would win only against the KMT's Wu Dunyi. She would lose by 25 percentage points against Zhu and by 16 points against Han. If Ke were to join the race as an independent, he would win handily in a three-way race with Tsai and any KMT candidate. Pitted against Premier Lai, Ke would have a closer race but would still come out ahead. If we were to vote tomorrow, Ke would of course be our new president. But it's hard to tell what the result will be like in 13 months. He would be running for president, not Taipei mayor, so he would have to actively tackle cross-strait issues. Almost three years have passed since Tsai was elected president of Taiwan. Amid declining public support, winning a second ticket to the presidential office will be a daunting challenge.